I'm sitting here with John Dog Collister, also known as Dog, who is known on the Isle of Man for his willow weaving, in particular Bumby cages. But he also offers classes around November and December time on how to make willow baskets, how to make star wands, stars like this. And today we are going to go through how he makes baskets. So John, dog, actually, yeah. Yeah. dog you prefer. How long does it take to make uh, a willow basket like this? That probably, not including collecting the willow, probably about hour to an hour and a half. An hour for yourself? Yeah, just so, to do the construction of it. Yeah, for a beginner, how long do you think it would take? Something like that. When they come to classes, we start at 10 o'clock and finish mid to late afternoon. And over that time, they'll do something probably a little bit bigger than that, but that sort of thing. Yeah. And uh, the, the idea is of the classes is not necessarily to make the best basket in the world, but is to learn or get the basics of of creating a basket because the basket you just show in the base there, the base, yeah. you start off with a base and when you've made the base you then put the, the, the weavers for the sides and then you make the sides and then you have a weave, you finish the weave off at the top and that's had the addition of a handle. But and this is just a plant pot that we yeah. put inside. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, can, I'll take that out yeah. if I can. So how much willow do you need to make a basket like this? Probably. Uh, Probably about a hundred pieces. A hundred individual pieces. Yes, yeah, there's um, the base is uh, there's three, three through three. Yeah. And when they spread out, they give you twelve, like a clock. So then you need twelve to go up the side. Yeah. And and then whatever number. You, so whatever so height. These are all smaller pieces that you've cut they, from longer yeah, pieces. You, you've got yeah. the base, and you use maybe twenty to do the. The side, the, the base okay, so on, on your framework. Okay. Then you put the weavers in that are going to form the sides, and then maybe there's 16, there's maybe maybe 50 involved in that, and uh, and then finishing off the and then finishing the the weavers around the side are always thinner than your uprights mm -hmm. because you want the uprights to be strong and the smaller ones be round rather than the uprights be weak and the weavers push the uprights out. So, so if someone wanted to make a basket and watch this tutorial or take yeah. one of your classes, where would they get the willow to make it at home? Right. Um, I get willow from a lot of places. A lot of it is just hedgerow willow. There's, you just go out along the hedgerows yeah, and you you find this in places willow is grown alongside the road even and they have the forestry they sorry the highway board come along and in the summertime they cut all the hedge back. Mm -hmm. And then it sits over winter, and then in the, the springtime they all start to grow. And then I go, hopefully before they cut it. <laughs> uh, I've got one farmer that is very good, and he tends to keep the uh, the hedge trimmer off his hedges until uh, later on, maybe after Christmas. After you've had a chance to after go in. After I've had a chance to go in, and there's various colours. Yeah. It's it's uh, this yellow willow actually grows in a garden. And this is this is all yellow willow, isn't it? Yeah, and apart sorry. from uh, one, I've, the other, I've done a patch of uh, a slightly different coloured willow. Yeah. Which gives a contrast and. Uh, so this grows in a, a garden, you said. This, this the yellow stuff grows in a garden. It's it's like an ornamental featured willow, but. Um, this is like a basket that you would hang on the wall. You would hang that on the wall, and you could put like a little plant pot in or maybe a, a kidney shaped bowl or even a round one just uh, and I, I put loops on the top so you can hang it up. You could hang it or you could just hang it on a peg on the oh, wall. Oh yeah, like could, there's, there's options, yeah. And the grey willow here, what yeah. type of willow is that? It's, they're all, I, I don't know them by name, it's just that it's a, a different variety of willow and obviously it's a different colour. Okay. Uh, and I use things like red dogwood. And this is a different colour as well. That's, this is that's a, a different colour. Uh, that's a different colour than both these willows that are in this. Yeah. Um, and that grows in a in a nature reserve, which I'm allowed to go in and, and harvest the willow because harvesting the willow means that the following year you'll get new growth, and the new growth is much better for 
uh, insects and the insects are much better for birds and so yeah. on. So it's a, a continual process. And this willow wreath, you've actually already showed me how to make it. And yeah. so there's there's material on my blog already yeah. as to how you can make it. This is really simple, isn't it? Oh, it's, a, this is it's not rocket science. So the very first circle you do is the main one. Once you kind of get the principle and you make a circle, a circle that will hold, you then just keep adding more in and more in and more in, and you, that's the face side. If you turn it around, people could see the, uh, the back side is where all the cuts are. And you do that last. And I do, and I cut them off last. The, the principle is, if one here, that's the one I start with, when I start to weave another one, I put it in a different position, mm -hmm. and then a different, and I keep move them to a different position to start so that you haven't got all the ends sitting in one place. Yeah. And then you trim them off, and if that's hanging on the wall, with that, as a face side, you don't see all them cups. And what's this you have in your hands? That's a, a, a children's wand, and that you can make makes that probably a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes, and you just need one yeah. strand. You just need one strand. You just use your measurements for your your lengths be, between the uh, each corner, yeah. and then you just mark it and so on, and then you do your fold. It's it's just remembering in and out, in and out, in and out, and then you just put that through, and it's a surprise now, much fun yeah. a child can have with that, you know. It's also even to make, it's, it's yeah. like, it could be something that you can make with an adult, or well, parties, children. It, it could be a, in a flower arrangement, you can make different size ones and put them in with yeah. flowers, and also it's just the world you always Yeah. Right, so should we get started making yeah. a yeah. basket? I'm excited. Good. <laughs> <laughs>